Welcome everybody to Zero Quick Tips. My name's Charles Clavina from Ion Books, Zero Bookkeeping Partner of the Year for 2013 and 14. Today we're going to have a look at some of the new updates that Zero have brought out just before Christmas here at December. Bit of an early Christmas present. There's two main changes we're going to go through. First one is the new dashboard screen, and second is the ability to create placeholders on repeating invoices. So let's have a look at that now. If you've logged into Xero today, you may have already seen one of the biggest changes that you may have ever noticed within Xero, and that's the new revised dashboard screen. This change is the first step for Xero in providing the new Business Insights dashboard that was previewed earlier on this year at the Xero conference held in Sydney. Xero will be providing more functionality on the screen to give business owners better insights into how their business is performing. So expect more changes on this dashboard in the months to come. The big change, apart from just it looking different, is the ability to customize your dashboard. Now, this is something we've been looking for from Xero for almost the last four years, ever since I've been using Xero. So what this means is if you select Edit Dashboard down the bottom, like I've just done here, if you don't use the accounts watch list, you can hide it or show it again. You can hide the expense claims if you don't use it as well. And you can move various items around. If you want bills to pay to be over here on the left hand side, while your bank accounts are over on the right hand side here, you can do that quite easily. And then select done. Most of the functionality or the boxes are exactly the same except for one major change here, which is total cash in and out. Essentially, it's a snapshot view of the cash coming in and going out in your business month by month. And it's based essentially only on the bank accounts and credit cards within your business, the ones that are listed here under bank accounts. So for October, if you wanted to see why or which accounts were affected by being out $21,000 in this screen, simply drill down into it and you will be able to see here exactly what's changed in those areas. So a fantastic addition there. Play around with your dashboard screens and you can now finally arrange them the way you want. If you don't use expense claims, you can hide that off. The second change that Xero has made today that I want to show you is the ability to create placeholders within descriptions for repeating invoices. What repeating invoices are, if you're not already using it, is the ability to create an invoice to a specific client every single month, year or fortnight on a repeating basis. Great for membership fees or something along those lines. When creating these in the past, you didn't have the ability to customize what was shown in the description show, so it would be the same for every single month. Bookkeeping for this month was all that you could write. But now we have the ability to create placeholders in here, similar to what you have in your email templates. A little bit like a mail merge field. Bookkeeping for this month and what's more you can do it up here in the reference as well so you can insert in here if you'd like the month bookkeeping invoice or something along those lines you can preview what you've written here under preview placeholders as well this is a much requested feature clients have been asking for this for quite a few years now we've finally got it and it's fantastic well, those are the two major changes in Xero now, just before Christmas. Bit of an early Christmas present for most of you. For more expert tips from us at Ion Books, please follow us on Twitter or Facebook or check out our webpage. As always, you can pick up the phone to contact your friendly bookkeeper. Thanks for watching and see you again next time.